All right. Um, this is sort of a review. This is an old car. But if you're looking for something for a child, uh, I mean a young one, say less than five, I've got to recommend this car. Uh, I just picked this one up off of eBay. I'm eventually planning on reselling it. Um, but I've got a young child that I needed to get an RC car for, and I've already had previous experience with this model, so I thought it would be perfect. Um, it's a Fisher Price. I don't know what the real name is, but normally it's listed as a Fisher Price Indy Car Style Buggy. Um, they generally show up on eBay fairly cheap. Um, I've seen them run anywhere from 30 bucks down to 10, which is how much I paid for this one. Um, it's an extremely simple car. It takes AA batteries. It can use rechargeable AA's. Uh, uses a 9 volt in the controller and the controls are extremely simple you have a steering wheel left, right, forward, back and the buttons are really easy to push for a young child it's not real fast which is good for a child um, the wheels are kind of a soft rubber and it's got this really big bumper here on the back which makes it great for uh, bumping into things same thing for the tires keeps damage to a minimum. There's also a pretty big wide rubber strip right here on the front. Tires are also soft in the front. Um, it's a two-speed. It's got slow and fast. Right now it's in the slow mode. And for a kid, there's it's easier and easier and I'll get out just because there's no power switch on the controller. It's powered off as soon as there's no buttons pushed. The on-off switch on the car is right here and it's got a red LED or a LED that lights this up red whenever it's on. You probably won't be able to see it but you know, it kind of made a difference. You probably can't see it in the video but um, it makes it to where the kid can easily identify where the on off switch is and they can learn it really easy. Um, it's fully proportional and like I said it's slow. This is uh, slow gear And I'm mostly out here for lighting. But it actually does get around all right on uneven terrain, which is kind of surprising. It's kind of hard to drive it while uh, operating the camera. Because of the big steering wheel, it really does kind of take two hands. That's the slow speed. Now, don't get all dramatic on me. High speed isn't that much faster, but it is definitely faster. And it's definitely fast enough to get the attention of a young kid. Doesn't have a lot of ground clearance. It's mostly for indoor use. I mean, my brother, when he had his, yeah, he actually did run it around outside a little bit, but the ground clearance doesn't do you any good, and the tires aren't really bent for it either. But, as a cheap car, I can highly recommend this, and if you see one on eBay, nab it. Um, you don't, I see them kind of often, maybe one or two a month. So they're not really hard to get a hold of, but uh, and they're not considered collector's cars, even though I think they're really neat. The other nice thing is, if you're dealing with a really small kid, you don't have to worry about them getting to the batteries. Um, they've got a screw here in place, so the batteries are hard, kind of hard to remove. You have to use a screwdriver, but the batteries do last a long time. Um, the batteries in this one have been in it probably for a good 40 minutes running. Um, I'm running normal alkalines. I'd say if you ran, got you some decent quality nickel metal hybrid rechargeables, you'll probably get at least the same, if not maybe higher, because um, I was kind of using cheap alkalines. But uh, it's a great little car, and I figured I'd post it up.